Hey guys, this is going to be a big video and I was playing why right now because I'm gonna play against a very difficult team tomorrow, today, yeah in a couple hours I guess and I need some things ticked. The last match that I have, the last big match I had was against Juventus FC and we draw 1-1. One -one. Both teams fought really hard and then it was a fair result, the defense wasn't fair enough, blah 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 blah. 39 points on the 100 season goal fest and I'm not going to really focus on that because that is just so demoralizing but let's go to here and the main reason why I'm going to focus in here is because let's tick that egg icon so we can prepare better for the upcoming match our players need 4 more training sessions that's because I dropped out of Champions League last night it was unfortunate I won 2 1, but it went all the way to penalty. They score 5 6. I'm proud of my team, but we've, at least we lost to someone that's better than us, I guess. Our starting lineup isn't fully rest. That can never be cut. I have 37 rests. I'm gonna use those. Our moral could be higher in our starting lineup. So, let's go with the first one match preview. Let's set the formation first. And this can be the first in many formations how to beat, but I definitely might not beat this formation given that the team is a bit stronger than mine, I guess. So <laughs> ridiculous. This is this would be a 442, but the formation that they claim it is at is 22222. So it's a very twish formation. The formation I'm currently using right now is a 3 1 3 2 1 formation. It, yeah, it, that sounds about right. So, I'm gonna set my formation to beat this formation right now. That's the first thing we are going to do. Then, the second thing we're gonna do, we're gonna train our team in such a way that we try to see if we can train them with the least amount of stress of the it's gonna be difficult to explain. So let's see. The formation that they use is a two 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 formation. So they have at least two players in every position. I need to counter that. Things I need to counter that is it I need a four defense because I'm gonna get players coming in from the wing and I'm gonna get players coming in from the center so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna switch that player for that player and then I'm gonna put that player out he can play the defender right that's good and I'm gonna put this player out here I will make the necessary adjustments and I will tell you what I each player is doing my two defender centers are marking two central strikers that they have the defender right, the defender left are there for the midfield left and the midfield right of their players in the attacking, near attacking kind of position. So I know that I have that position governed. Definitely may need attacking midfield left, attacking midfield right players, but I may need them, may need midfield right, midfield left instead. I'm not sure. I'll tell you one thing though, I need to take advantage of that huge space in the middle, so I definitely need an attacking Miffy center. As far as central strikers go, I'm going to need one and I'm going to need one right where the weakest strike, weakest defender is. So I may not need three Miffy centers, so 4-5-1 seems like a good option I guess and we have a lot of stamina in Mephia center so we're good we're gonna put this striker on and we're gonna put him near that defender because that defender is look like he has less star than the six star defender up there so my main pl plan for this is to not hard defend but normal through the middle and mix shards. I won't be keeping any position that much. So normal through the middle mixed. Yeah, mixed sound about right. 
and me go defending because uh, well the team is bigger than me but I will just start at that style and see how it goes on from there my substitute I don't need to focus on that at all right now all I just need to focus on is what the formation is first let's put on that player because I need this player to need that player to get some game time Alright, everything cool there? Alright, so first of all, the formation is set. It's good. It moved from poor to good. So you can actually see that we did, we did something kind of great there. I'm not sure if it was poor, but it was kind of good. It like it got kind of better. I'd have to revisit the video and see how it went and stuff like that. So now is the next part. We need our players to get some training so let's go so here we are in training the the, the feature that is over emphasized ever since it was remodeled again before it was normal you can just pick out a pair individually and train the crap out of that player and you, you, you get six star in a couple time I guess you change it out so we need four training and overall my training the, the past training that I use the two past training that I use let's go and inform them the condition that they burn each was 12% 12% each we need to fix that pronto and we don't need to fix that by well um what, what you can say like like reduce the amount of prayers no we we can reduce the amount of well the type of intense training and the next thing is the amount of training so let's select drills uh, it seems the rain is gonna come down so you might hear a little bit rain in the video i apologize for that Let's start off with our attacking. So we have pass, go and shoot, which is intense. That's not not intense. It's easy. So we need easy training. So my best guess is to uh, well, once you have the two top, you have different kind of training. You have a training that really focus hard on the players, and you have a focus players training that really train them easily and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go with this one. Wait. Let's go physical first. Very easy. Let's warm them up and let's bring them through this. Very hard. We're gonna leave that alone because that that takes down three percent of their very easy. This takes out 0 0.5. We're trying to get the best training with the least amount of energy drain if that makes any sense medium medium let's start, see how much medium takes away medium takes away 2.25 it's very near to hard i guess so i i don't think that's correct come on come on we need a training that is easy and if we can't find any more training that is easy and we have at least about three or stuff like that we're gonna use those three I guess alright so the set piece delivery is medium, the seldom driven is hard. The wing play looks hard too. The wing play, wing play, it's hard, yes. And the one, 1v1 finishing is easy. So we're gonna take the 1v1 finishing. So in all, we have three drills and one warm up. So it's four overall. 
we could repeat each to the to, to better it but all right so we had difficulties with the uh, work harder ridiculous so overall we see it burns 4.5 energy condition so we can set a, a limit that we can say we can go at least five so if I should use one I will definitely go for wing play given that the type of match that I'm gonna use the type of play that I'm gonna use is wing play but that will take them three so four five six seven seven it's not gonna be good for me four four might be good let's try four and let's select our players. We want to select all our attacking players and include a midfield center, midf attack midfield center, striker, attack midfield center, midfield right, defender, midfield left, center not involved. They are more in defensive areas. I have a lot of. Alright, so let's trade them. Four drills can work. This is the slide training because I do have hit at <sighs> let's repeat it one more time. And there we go. We have a decent amount of training without hurting any of the players that much. So I, I, I call that light training, where we train the players lightly, I guess. So we need to do something for our defenders, because we need to train our defenders as well. This one is easy stretch, let's put stretch to them. Like, we should put keep warm up yeah keep stretching for defenders and then warm up for um, strikers so we look up on the first one press and play which is hard so I'm not gonna go over that one that one we're gonna take down at least three energy we need light training basically light training pig in the middle which take them 1.5 and it's an actual good training so let's put it down in here goalkeeper training regardless of it being easy or hard we need to train the goalkeeper so that that one will be specifically for a goalkeeper so I don't think it would take that much off the other players at all so I think it will be alright Easy. We have another easy one, and this one is use your head, where the creative passive position is 1.5 condition, and it's already six. So we need, need to not focus on that. The the tree is probably coming from our goalkeeper training. I wonder if we we should keep the goalkeeper training separate from the defending training and uh, striker training I'm gonna try that in a video I can't try it right now because the recorder is not really working at best condition right now unfortunately let's go over a little bit more we have a little more more easy so this one I'm not gonna get it out but let's see it's 0.75 so it's good. It's it's very good. Alright, let's train it. Alright, one more thing left to do, let's select the players. And I think after we select these players for this, we can call this a day because what else do we have to do here? The moral boost and stuff like that. You guys know about that very well, so 
Hey, no need to, for me to go over that for you guys. Right now. Alright. Select everybody. And let's train the uh, deuce out of them. I should have checked. I didn't check, but I see one pair is sixty one percent. I'm not sure how much it that if, if everybody lose the, the percentage but that let's just continue training them and see what goes on. Alright, that's good. With no nonsense going on, we go back to home with everybody trained very well. A decent amount of bonus I have, and the players didn't really lose that much energy. So I guess we can really tone it down a little bit on the training and not overemphasize it too much, like oh, it's supposed to. And we're still at good. I wonder why. We the team is now fully rest, and uh, the that shouldn't be the case for us to be at good preparation level. Even though the players did train, I think the majority of them have a decent amount of energy level. And I'm right. Only the defender, center, around the back, and the goalkeeper. I'm gonna switch out for David De Gea. But everything else is good. So, wish me luck, guys. I may, I may, I may, I may put the results up for the next match later on tomorrow. And the next thing I will do is, what's the stuff? I'm gonna do an experiment on top eleven. See how it works. So that will be for the next video. The experiment on top 11 and how I did in this match, which I may I may just lose, but hopefully I don't lose because I'm fifth and I want to make it at least in Champions League next season. But it's a very far fetch, even though with us on equal points. If they sip up, I will take that spot, and if I sip up, well there we go clean through and it's gonna be very difficult to catch them back so thank you guys for watching this was a long video in a sense given that it kinda of crashed in the middle of it for some apparent reason but I will see you next time